Good afternoon, I'm Carol Watwood, Health Sciences Librarian at WKU Libraries. Welcome to our new MSW students. My job at WKU is to connect you with library resources for your study, practice, and research. I'll show you how to navigate our WKU Libraries website to access books, journal articles, and library databases. You'll learn to access books and articles from off campus, how to get materials we don't have, and how to get help. Now let's get started. Here's our WKU Libraries homepage, your starting place for your WKU Libraries research. To get here, open your web browser and type WKU Libraries. When you see Big Red, you're in the right place. If you get stuck, click on the lower right for 24-7 instant chat with a librarian. Scroll down to see our COVID-19 library updates page. This page tells you how to access our physical collection. As of today, July 30th, 2020, our online resources are available as usual, but you may have to make special arrangements to read a print book. Click WKU Libraries or scroll back up to return to our home page. Now let's search for Encyclopedia of Social Work. This is one search here, and I'm going to go to Advanced Search. And see, I'm logged in. Uh, it says Carol Watwood. If my, pa if my name is at the top of the page, I'm logged in. Log in with your NetID and password. This unpaywalls our subscription resources so you can read them for free. I'm going to type Encyclopedia of Social Work, search. I get a list of results ranked by relevance. Encyclopedia of Social Work should be first. If I like, I can pin this to my favorites list. It'll jump up to the top and stay there so I can easily find it again. Dot, dot, dot shows other actions I can take. Permalink, email, cite to pull up a properly formatted APA citation for this title, and X to close out. Let's click Available Online to begin reading the book, then link to the resource. Here's Encyclopedia of Social Work Online. Let's say I want to read the section on rural practice. I type rural practice at the top, search. This takes me to the section on rural practice. The unlocked padlock tells me I'm logged in and Encyclopedia of Social Work is unpaywalled. It recognizes that I'm affiliated with Western, so I can read it for free. Up at the top here, I can do several things. I can print it, I can download it to my computer, or I can uh, pull up a properly formatted APA citation. Scroll down to read the article online, or the links over to the left show me sections. The References section shows me further references and will tell me whether or not we have them at WKU Libraries. When I'm done reading this article, I can click X to close it, X to go back to my list. Clear clears out my search and lets me search for something else. Next, I'm going to look for an article, or excuse me, a book on leadership and social work. I use the drop-down menu to change material type from all materials to books. I'm going to type what I'm looking for, leadership, social work. Search executes my search. Here's several good books. Let's take a look at the second one. This is a print book, Inclusive Leadership on, in Social Work and Social Care. If our library is closed due to COVID-19, I can pin this and then call the 
number in the COVID-19 landing page to arrange for a pickup of the book or have it delivered. This first book is an e-book. I can read this online right at my computer. I can click Available Online to read this book. Click X to log out when you're done. Clear to clear out my search for books. OneSearch can also be used to find articles that we have in the library available online. I'm going to look for articles on COVID-19 and social work. I type in my search terms COVID-19 social work. If I like, I can put quotes around social work. I'm going to change material type to articles. This limits my search to just articles, not books, websites, databases, or anything else. Search executes my search. I scroll down to see a list of articles ranked by relevance. This first one looks good. Nursing home social work during COVID-19. To pin this to my favorites list, I click pin. The article should jump up to the top. If I'm logged in, it will stay there even after I sign off. Peer-reviewed, this little purple guy, tells me that this article is peer-reviewed. So if your assignment calls for peer-reviewed articles, this would be a good one to use. Let's pin a couple more of these. Pin. Pin. Now if we scroll up to the top, I can go to my favorites list and see the three articles that I've saved. All of these are peer-reviewed, so if I need three articles to write my papers, here's uh, three good articles. These should all be ones we have at Western because OneSearch is our Google for the library. I click Available Online to open and read this article. I can read this right at my computer. I can download it or print it if I have an attached printer. Now I've sh shown you how to find one search to use one search to find uh, books and articles. We're going to go back to the home page and I'll show you our databases. To get there, click databases from our home page. First, I'd like to show you academic search complete. This is a good all-purpose database. The library databases, such as Academic Search Complete, find articles WKU has in full text, and unlike OneSearch, also find articles we don't have but we can get through interlibrary loan. I should see three search boxes. I'm going to search again for articles on COVID-19. I'm going to start uh, typing COVID-19. Notice that uh, uh, autocomplete suggests additional terms. Excuse me. I can add these if I want. I'm not going to right now. My second search box, I'm going to type social work. And notice that auto suggests additional terms. I'm going to ignore these. This finds articles on COVID-19 and social work. Uh, this is more comprehensive than OneSearch and also includes articles that we don't have. Search executes my search. The best articles appear first. The blue hyperlinks appear for each article. Many, but not all, have attached full text. Let's look at the first article. Click the article title, then PDF full text to open the full article. You'll need Adobe Acrobat on your computer to open the full text. Scroll down to read online, or you can print or download for free using the printer icon or the down arrow at the top of your screen. If you don't have a printer, you can print for free in our student technology labs on campus. As of July 30th, 2020, our labs are closed due to COVID-19. Check our website to see who's open. Most of our library databases let you cite your article in properly formatted APA format. Click Cite to see the APA citation. 
Remember to proofread it to make sure it's right. Click Results List to go back to your results list for COVID-19 in social work. Sometimes you find the perfect article for your paper, but you don't have the full but we don't have the full text. Here's an example. Number two, Community Work and Family in Times of COVID-19 says search WKU. When I click the link, there's no full text link. It says request from interlibrary loan. I sign in with my NetID and password. A request form for a copy of the article will be auto-filled and one-click ordering is uh, turned on. I scroll down to the bottom of the screen and click Submit Request. The full text will be sent to my WKU email free of charge, often within two working days. To cancel the request, click Cancel. Click X to go back to my search. X. Next, I'd like to click on the first three articles and send them to my results, my favorites list, and email them to myself. Instead of pins, this database, Academic Search Complete, has folders. I click the folder picture beside the ones I want. The folder will turn yellow as I put the articles in my folder. Next, I scroll up to the top, click Folder View, select All, Email, and follow the on-screen instructions to email them to myself. I can put them in APA format again here. To save articles or strategies for a later session, Click Sign In at the top of the page and follow the on-screen instructions. I'd like to show you one more database before we wrap up. I can also use Google Scholar as a database. Click Databases, Google Scholar. When I'm signed in, it unpaywalls the articles that WKU Library subscribes to, and some of them will be open access on the internet. I'm going to click to search for the term kinship care. Here's a list of references, and I can favorite these by uh, clicking on the star. The full text links appear to the right. Remember that Google Scholar, unlike Academic Search Complete or OneSearch, has little quality control. Examine the results carefully to make sure they're from a quality journal. I'm going to go back to my WKU Libraries homepage and review what we've looked at. The white search box, OneSearch, is a Google for the library. It's our library catalog and more. If I'm off campus, I can go to Advanced Search and sign in at the top of the page with a WKU NetID and password. Back to the home page. Databases are our best and most comprehensive way to find articles on a research topic. I showed you too, Academic Search Complete is a good all-purpose database. You can display, download, or print the full text for free. Find the APA citation or mark and save a list of articles. Google Scholar can be also used as a database. Under the word information is our library hours and location and other general information. Click this link to see what's currently open. Document Services and Interlibrary Loan takes you directly to the page to request books and articles that WKU doesn't have. If you're a distance learning student outside Bowling Green, we can email books to, uh, excuse me, mail books to you at no cost. Last but not least is the Social Work Library Research Guide. The quickest way to get here is to type social work into the OneSearch box. 
This has quick links to useful online resources in social work. Here's my contact information, articles and databases, uh, helpful books, website, and a copy of this orientation. To contact me, email me at carol.watwood at wku.edu. I try to respond within 24 hours. I can meet with you by telephone or Zoom as well as by email. Thank you for watching. Please be in touch and stay healthy.